The question three is to use the relationship between the parts of the circle and solve the problems. Here we have been told to solve for the x value. Now, how do we start? Here there is only x and then 64. We have no idea about the other side. But they have told this chord and this chord are equal. And if you recall, there's a theorem that states if these chords are equal, then the arcs generated by them are equal. So this chord, this is the angle, right? And here this angle is also x then because they must be congruent to each other. Now then if we equate it, x plus x plus this angle 64 degrees must be equal to 360. Now use the calculator and solve. Here I have typed this as it is in the calculator. You just press shift and solve and press equal to. Then you get the answer. It's 148. That's the answer. Here they have told to find x, but they have not given us the, you know, any measure of this angle or other angles. But we know these both are equal. That means this angle is also 116 degrees. Then since it's the central angle, the central angle is whatever the arc's angle. See, this arc is 116. That means this is also 116 degrees. They're equal. So it's basically 116 degrees itself. So that's how we solve it. Very straightforward problems. Now, what about these ones? Please try to solve them by yourselves and then watch the explanations. Here we have been told this is 82 degrees and this is 4, the dimension of this chord. And here also the chord is 4. And if we have congruent chords, the angles will be equal. X must be 82 here. And over here we have 9, 9. So this is x, 90, and the remaining one must be x itself. Just like how we have done over here, we are doing x plus x. Because this is 1 x degrees, x degrees plus 90 must be equal to the whole circle angle that is 360 degrees. I will just change this over here to 90. And all you do is shift and solve. If you press equal to, you'll get an error, syntax error, because you can't solve it. Shift and solve. And then this is not the answer. Press equal to. Now you get the correct answer. It's 135. So that's how we solve these. Now here, looking at these problems, you can easily equate this angle to this equation. Now here as well, since we know these arcs are equal, so these both must be equal. You can type it out in the calculator as it is. 2 alpha x gives you x variable. Plus 4 must be equal to by alpha and calc. That is 18. Shift and solve. The x value is 7 here. Now to solve the next question, here they have told this arc and this arc is equal. Now can you just equate 2x plus 1 equals 115? Let's try that. 2x plus 1 is equal to, sorry, it's 1 equals 115. Now if I press shift and solve, I'm going to get this answer. But please remember this is a wrong answer. Why it's not possible? Now, if this length was told to be some value, say phi, we can just equate it, right? But why we can't equate the angle and this? Look, here the angle is in degrees and this is in, say, length dimension. They're not exactly the same concepts, same dimensions, right? So we cannot equate it. If it was length of measure of this line, then yes. But don't equate this the dimension of this length to the arc angle. No, we can't do it. But what we can do is we can equate JH and H high. The reason I told that is sometimes if students just equate these two, you will get an answer, but that's a wrong answer. But here you equate JH and H high, the chords. That is 2x plus 1 equals 5x minus 5. And now if you press shift and solve, you'll get the answer to x value is 2. Here for this question as well, it's just the same. The chords are given. Just equate these two equations and you can solve it up. Here you can see. Equate the equation, solve it. Now, here they have told these two circles are congruent. And then they have told this arc from this chord and this arc is equal, right? So just equate these both because they are congruent circles and you will get the answer equating them. Now here in this question, they have told angle circle V and circle W are congruent. And this chord is given and this is the angle 162. But what about this angle? It's not mentioned. So first find the measure of this angle 
that is 360 minus 198 it will be 60 plus 2 uh, and 100 is there 162 degrees now we know this is also 162 now we can equate these both if it was not the same then no it was not possible to equate it so please keep that in mind in this case yes we can equate but first you need to find the angle and then equate it up now we move to a little bit different types of problem here they have told pq this is the distance the radius is given and rs rs is not the diameter this is just a chord it's 24 we need to find the measures okay let's do this what is rt rt is this so how would you solve it we know rs the total length is 24 and this radius is cutting at 90 degree it will cut this into congruent parts or equal parts it bisects it so it is 24 divided by 2 that will be 2 all over here that is rt so that's it very simple now what about pt let's do this one pt is okay this distance is required now this is interesting because you can't directly solve it pt is over here we know rt and we know pq so what i'll do is i'll just connect a line from year to year if i draw a straight line then this is 90 degrees isn't it because that is 90 we have pythagoras theorem now i know pythagoras theorem is rp square equals rt square plus pt squared now i can just substitute the known values this is same as the radius value what is it pq is 13 so this is also 13 what about rt we just now found out it's 2r and now uh, just substitute over here 13 squared equals 2r squared plus pt squared now this is a pythagorean triplet if you remember phi 2 r 13 are a pythagorean triplet so hypotenuse is 13 squared this is 2 r squared this is phi squared the answer will be phi but otherwise you can just solve this in calculator you will get the answer phi what about tq tq is very simple we know the radius is 13 13 minus pt we just now solved that will be the answer 13 minus phi is 8 and here again similar problems but this time we have to find the measure of arc de now de would be this is important they we need to know what are, what they have given they have given cd the entire arc is 90 degrees if this entire arc is 90 degree since this is a radius or diameter is cutting and there's 90 degrees now they are equally cut what i mean is this particular arc right will be bisected by this line bisect means 90 becomes half this is 45 this is 45 so from cd which was given as 90 divided by 2 that means it's 45 measure of angle d so this will be half of 90 and what is fd fd is this length see this one now what do we know we know eb value the diameter is 12 we know cd the entire cd is 8 and we want fd this half of it will be fd so just do half of 8 that will be 4 here and af now af is this we can just do the similar method what we did a while ago pythagoras theorem method and solve it up so that's how we solve these and here we have a real situation problem for security purposes a jewelry company prints a hidden watermark on the logo of its official documents the watermark is a chord located 0.7 centimeter away from the center of the circular ring. So now let's just draw a circular ring and imagine this is the center. 0.7 centimeter, 0.7 away is a chord. Okay. The circular ring has a radius. The radius over here from the center to this R is 2.5. To the nearest tenth, what is the length of the chord? Now we need to find the length of this chord. But first, we need to find at least half this distance and then we can find the full. So what I'll do is we did the Pythagoras theorem thing, right? So this is how much radius? 2.5. This is 0 0.7. So let's draw it. I will just do from the center to here. It was 0 0.7. And then this is the radius and this is the big chord, right? So here it's 2.5. We will find half of the chord and this is the circle. Okay, That's the extra part. Just ignore it. 
So what we do is 2.5 squared equals 0 0.7 squared plus x squared. Now this x, let's find it out directly in calculator. Now you can type it out directly 2.5 squared equals 0 0.7 squared plus x squared. Shift and solve, make it equal to, you get 2.4. Now they told nearest tenth and that is nearest tenth itself. So it's, okay, now I forgot. 2.4 is the x value. What did they ask? It's not that. They have asked you the length of the chord. Please don't make the mistake I just now made. We got 2.4. That is this distance. Just half of the chord. Multiplied by 2. Again over here there's 2.4. So that is 4.8. That is the answer. 4.8 centimeters is the length of the chord. That's the end of this topic. Please do solve more and more problems by yourselves. Or at least solve the given questions in the EOT by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, post them in the comments.